Hello friends, welcome to A to Z Industry. The glycoprotein present in pre-dentine considered as reparative molecule of pulp. Expressed by odontoblastin, reversible pulpitis in higher level is osteocalcin, dentin siloprotein, osteonectin, osteopontin. Osteocalcin Osteocalcin found on type 1 collagen fibrils in newly formed pre-dentine. The predominant microorganism in root surface carries Lactobacillus species, Streptococcus anguus, Streptococcus salivaris, Actinomyces viscus. Actinomyces viscus. Then Streptococcus mutans is the principal agent of enamel carries. The unsulfated glycosaminoglycan is hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulfates, syndicon, fibronectin. Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid lacks sulfate group, but rest of the glycosaminoglycan contain sulfates. Hyaluronic acid found in epithelial tissue, connective tissue, and neural tissue, and it forms the chief component of extracellular membrane. The best known and most frequently used stain for detection of carbohydrate doping is Alcian blue stain, periodic acid shift stain, toluidine blue stain. Music or med stain. Periodic acid shift stain. Past stain or periodic acid shift stain is the widely used stain for carbohydrate doping. It detects glycogen, glycoproteins, glycolipids, and mucin in the tissues. The ideal thickness of microtome used for sectioning lymphoid tissue for microscopic examination is 1 to 2 microns, 2 to 3 microns, 6 to 8 microns. 8 to 10 microns. 2 to 3 microns. Which of the following ribs is not harvested for costochondral graft in TMJ angulosis surgery? 3rd rib, 5th rib, 6th rib, 7th rib. 3rd rib. Costochondral graft was taken from right chest at the 5th, 6th, and 7th rib bones. Which of the following is not observed in case of osteoradio necrosis? Soft tissue abscess with draining sinuses, exposed necrotic bone, trismus, painless swelling. Painless swelling. Osteoradio necrosis is an inflammatory condition of bone that occurs after the bone has been exposed to therapeutic dose of radiation, usually given for a malignancy of head and neck region. And the mandible is particularly susceptible. Terco mandibular space is superiorly bounded by Temporalis muscle, buccinator muscle, lateral tergoid muscle, medial tergoid muscle. Lateral tergoid muscle. Let's see the boundaries of tergomandibular space. Superiorly it bounded by lateral tergoid muscle and greater wing of sphenoid bone. Laterally, ramus of the mandible and temporalis muscle. Medially, medial tergoid muscle. Anteriorly, tergomandibular raphe and buccal space. Posteriorly, parotid gland. Lateral phytangial space abscess can be drained by intraoral approach, extraoral approach, both intra and extraoral approach. It should not be drained. Both intra and extraoral approach. Which of the following is not observed in superior orbital fissure syndrome? Ophthalmoplegia, dilated pupil, eyelid ptosis, maxillary nerve sensory loss. Maxillary nerve sensory loss. Superior orbital fissure syndrome is a complex of impulse function of cranial nerves 3, 4, 5 and 6 that enters the orbit through superior orbital fissure. Okay, it's all about today's topic. See you with a new video. Thank you.